down here fishing the uh, south side today I do all right when I come out here um, caught a barracuda caught some papillos you know stuff like that um, caught a big aha but you know I'm starting to perfect the the craft of catching bait now uh, yesterday I went to McKenna did really well on bait but only had like one aha strike and that was it. It was a pretty slow day for everybody out there. So I'm gonna try today, different spot. Hopefully we can locate some bait. Start trolling. Hopefully we link up with something good. I just want a kava kava, a shibi, maybe a mai. That's really what my goal is because I haven't been able to done that yet. I got I got one kava kava on a vertical jig at one time, but kinda not the same as trolling. So, stay tuned and uh, hopefully we will be back here with some, some fish shortly. Alright, got one bait. So I see him down there. Matter of time for one is going to hit it. You guys curious what I'm using for bait? This is a Pelu. Alright, it's a scad mackerel. Alright, uh, we try to find them in the schools using uh, Damashi rigs and uh, little uh, scented lures to try to catch them. Just caught my second one, put them in bait tube now. So this is my bait tube, okay? I know people here in Hawaii are very familiar with it, but my folks out on the East Coast. This is what we use after we catch our bait, put them in. So right now I'm getting another school, about 25 to 30 feet. So I dropped my three ounce weight with that rig. My Damashi rig already broke on me earlier. So I got like half of it right now. So I'm only using one lure. So it's only about maybe a foot and a half of line so i bring it to the bottom and try to bring it up to them and you'll see the school coming up and usually as it's coming up they will smack it sometimes they smack them see right now i got one. Oh, he just let go of it sometimes they will smack it on the way bottom and you'll see because your line will go slack it'll go completely slack out of nowhere because he got it in their mouth you just keep trying to drop it down there over these schools hopefully one gets up yeah they're kind of finicky today maybe it's because i gotta wait real close to the lure but hopefully i can produce maybe two more and i'll be i'll be satisfied i'll be satisfied i'll be happy camper i want to hit it but he let go sometimes they'll hit it and they'll drop it they'll spit it right out of their mouth they can be finicky coming to Hawaii you know fishing you know get more doing more offshore than anything it's definitely been a challenge for me but it's also been a fun experience so far yesterday I had no issues catching bay actually I caught so many I ended up frying them up last night they were pretty delicious but stay tuned all right so I got my third of Pelu I'm out in about 150 feet of water now they were down there about 60 feet so I dropped my dumb sheet rig again and lost like two of them. I managed to get one. So maybe two, maybe two here already. I'm gonna get out to about maybe 200 feet. I'm gonna start trolling. With one of these behind it, behind me. So.
Okay, we got some weight to them. Oh my. Hell yeah, baby. Me. Ah. Shit. Oh, big whales. Scared the living shit out of me. Big whale. Little Mahi. Come on. Come on, Mahi. Bad gaff, oh well. First mahi. Get your ass in here. Wind's got very shitty at the last minute, so I'm bringing it on in. I end up having like three more live bait right off our school of Pelu. Um, so I managed to get that mahi today. Lost that big mahi earlier this morning. But overall, I'm satisfied because I finally got one out of the kayak. That was my first Mahi ever. So kind of stoked about that. But it's getting kind of rough out here. The winds just came in. So I'm bringing it on in. Alright guys, thanks for watching.